Hey y'all, it's Brady. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for joining me. We have got a mega grocery and household stock up to show you. So let's get into it because there's a lot to talk about. Alright, so I have got a massive March, but really spring, um, stock up for our groceries and our household needs. I originally was going to split this up into two separate videos, but I just decided it would be easiest um, because everything was coming in at different times and all this stuff to just combine it into one video. So that's what I'm doing. By the way, if you're concerned, I am parked uh, just in the carpool line off to the side. I'm not driving, so don't worry about that. Um, that's just, I wanted, that's why there's cars going by. Anyways, so I actually did all this shopping about two-ish weeks ago, but I was not able to get that video up immediately, so I'm filming the intro now, and um, we're going to get that video out to you. So just know that it is a couple of weeks old, so if I talk about any couponing deals, those are probably not valid, um, but I wanted to share it with you anyways because it is um, our annual stock up of things. Um, I guess I do this twice a year, but really more of the household I do in the spring. Um, so there's that. I probably won't have a kid's clothing haul for spring and summer. It's just been one of those things. We've gotten a few things, but not really all at once like I normally do. We took them at one point and got some new shoes because they had outgrown their tennis shoes. Um, and then another day I ordered some stuff from Kohl's another day you know what I mean like just different things here and there I will tell you you are going to see a um I don't know if I share it with you or if I just tell it tell it tell you about it but I ordered the like robot vacuum that was on sale at the time of filming this video and we have since returned it so I was not impressed. So I don't know if it's just our type of floor. I don't really know, but it did not do a good job. I just was not impressed with it. So I did return it and Sam's Club has already got our money back to us. It was very easy to do that. Love Sam's Club for that. Let me quit yammering. Let's get into this video. Thank you so much for being here. So this was supposed to be sorted out into two videos. It's gonna do all our household stuff and all of our um, food stuff in two separate videos, but it is just not working out that way. So, um, what I'm going to do, because, um, I'll explain all the water in a minute, but that's the state of my kitchen right now. And I have desperately got to get this stuff put away. So this like yearly or semi-annually, um, stock up is always really tough to handle the amount of stuff that comes in, but it is so helpful to know that we are, you know, way ahead on things, um, <clears throat> when that time, you know, throughout the rest of the year is what I'm trying to say. So, this is Walmart, some Amazon, couple, I think this is from Sam's. I'm just going to share with you what I got. Oh, there's some public stuff too. So, I'm just going to share with you what all I got and we'll keep adding up the totals here. Um, and I'll share the grand total with you at the end from all the household and all of the um, food stuff. Now, you should also know from Sam's Club, we did jump on a, a deal. We also needed to replace the girls' mattresses, and so I did that on Amazon. And they are here, and they are, I just, we just put their mattresses in their rooms. So, um, I will include all of that in the total, but obviously I'm going to have to put pictures up here on the screen. So, Let's do that real quick. The first thing I'll show you is this is the picture of what the mattresses look like. They were around $100 each, I believe. Um, so not a bad deal. They seem very comfortable. They are like a memory foam type material. So I am hopeful that these work well. They do have a zip off cover and then we always put a um, mattress protector underneath the sheet as well so it'll be all protected there to try to keep it nice so it's time to do that um we also jumped on the deal from sam's club so let me show you that here we got a robotic vacuum and mop that self-empties i not just on the sam's club website but across multiple websites i searched for reviews they had excellent reviews 
Sam's Club normally sells it for $700. I think they sell for upwards of $1,000 everywhere else. We paid $200 um, during a sale that Sam's Club had. I think by the time y'all see this video, unfortunately, that sale is over because we ordered it at the very end of the sale. Um, but <clears throat> I, you know, we are just always busy and the floors between the dog and the kids and the crumbs, you know, all the things I, I'm really excited to try it out. So the $200 was in the price range of the budget we had been saving for. I'm really excited about that. It mops also. Um, so we'll see, I will give it some time and I'll give y'all some reviews on it though. Um, if it's something you want to know more about, you can always ask me later on after we've tried it out. So I don't think it's going to be here, um, actually in person. I think it's supposed to be here like March 7th. And when I'm filming this, it's March 2nd. So probably won't get to actually show it to you, but it's going to be a big box anyway. So I just thought I'd share the picture here. So let's get into it of what's on the table here. And then I'll get all of the Sam's Club stuff and BJ's, the rest of all that put up here and all the cold stuff. And we'll just go little by little. Um, actually, let me stop and tell you first about the water. The water um, was a deal. So they were $3.99 for the 40 count bottled water at Kroger. I was having a delivery order from Kroger. They said they didn't have it, but they'd substitute for the same price, these 24 counts for eight of them. But I said no to that substitution, but they sent it anyways. So we are not, we got a refund for it. But um, then in that case, then I did order the four 40 counts from BJ's over there. So now we have eight 24 packs and four 40 count bottles of water, y'all. I have no idea where we're going to put it. Honestly, I'm probably going to go and donate some of that. Uh, there's just no way around that. So I think we're going to go and donate that. We've got like a blessing box in our area um, right down the road from us. So I'm going to do that and um, and we'll just go from there. Because there's no way that we can hold on to all of this water. Yes, would we eventually drink it like, you know, months from now? Sure, but I don't want that just sitting in my house. We didn't pay for it, so someone else can have the use of it. Okay, from Amazon, we got a Blackstone griddle gifted to us from my mother-in-law for Christmas. And we do not have a cover, so we ordered a cover for it. So that was from Amazon. And then this was also from Amazon and unfortunately because it's in the box you cannot see what all it is but it's essentially those two spatulas and then the weighted whatever that thing is called that pushes it down and then there's something else in there too but it's just a few things we needed for the griddle got that from amazon this set there's already a dog hair y'all look i just took that out of the box that's insane so i was going to pick up the uh, members mark brand skillets to replace the two like I have a small one like this and then one this size I was gonna replace these at Sam's Club anyways well then they had a deal that you could get this and I don't even know what brand this is is it the oh it is members mark as well but it's their hard anodized set it was $33.96 for these three pans together so we're gonna toss the old ones and put these new ones in I actually don't prefer to cook with a non-stick skillet because they do wear down, but what we do is I buy these inexpensive ones and, but are good quality. These are like, I don't know if, know if these are, but the other ones that we usually get are, well, these don't have the seal, so I don't know. I'll have to look, but the ones that we get typically from Sam's Club that you buy them individually, they are like restaurant safe pans. And so they're really good quality pans. We'll see how we like these. But they, every, it doesn't matter, I'm sorry, it does not matter how much you spend on a non six pan, you're going to have to replace it because eventually that coating will start to chip and at that point it's no longer safe, you need to get rid of it. So we're going to get rid of ours because they are wearing down and since that was already on my radar, buying these three actually ended up being cheaper than purchasing the two separately this time, so that's what I did. Okay, Walmart, I got this scrub brush. Uh, to clean, I think I'm going to clean bath, or, oops, sorry, I had a call. I think I'm going to clean, I don't remember what I decided, but maybe this is to clean the tub with, I don't remember, but I needed a new scrub brush, got that. I'm restocking our extended, like, emergency medicine supply, 
So I got four allergy liquid relief, those are 488, and three of the two packs for 792 each of the chewable ibuprofen. The band-aids were a Publix deal, spend 15, save five, plus there's a store coupon for $2 off of each one, plus there was a dollar fifty off one manufactured digital coupon. So I think this ended up being like fifteen seventy two, save five, that's ten. Take off the two, 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 and two. That takes off eight. So now you're down to like two seventy two. Take off a dollar fifty. We were at like a dollar twenty two for four boxes of band-aids. You can't beat that. That was a really good deal. That was cheaper than me buying one, obviously, and cheaper than me buying one of the generic Publix brand or even Walmart brand band-aids. So I'm pretty pumped about that. And there was no rebate apps needed. It was instantly, I just paid $1.22. I also got a new hairbrush for myself from Publix. That was $5.99. Three something for the nighttime soothing makeup remover wipes from Walmart. I'm going to try out this Heritage uh up in the air volumizing brush this is one of those like it's like a round brush and a hair dryer all at the same time that was 39 dollars, but i had some rebate cash so that's what i used that for i don't remember how much the 12 pack of irish spring was it was around seven dollars that's my husband's preferred bar soap so i got that for him from walmart the lysol laundry sanitizer was another Publix deal i think they are 8.52 Eight dollars and some change but then right now they're on sale buy one save three dollars instantly that's the store sale and then there's a three dollar off one digital coupon so i paid 252 or something like that for two dollars and some change for the lysol laundry sanitizer and i just have a big container that i use to fill that up this is also from amazon i needed to get the girls some more toothpaste they really like this hello brand Either the Blue Raspberry, the Dragon Dazzle flavor, or the Grape. But you cannot find these two, those two flavors anymore um, in stores. So, I don't know. Our Target used to carry it. Now they don't. So, I went on ahead and got this three-pack on Amazon. And it, being, it ended up being about $14 for the three of those. The Garnier, that's for me to color my hair. That's from Walmart. $7 and some change. $2.82 for the Medicated Body Powder. And then the body powder spray, this is $5.96 or $5.78, something like that at Walmart. Seven something for the Honest Detangler spray from Walmart. I had ordered a two pack of the Right Guard Sport for my husband. They substituted this. I don't know. I told him no. I didn't get charged for it, but we still have it. So I don't know. I'll donate that as well because my husband does not prefer the gel. $1.98 for the Scope Travel and the Sensodyne Travel Extra Whitening. Those are for my husband to put in his lunchbox. He has Invisalign. We've talked about this before, but he needs that in his bag. It was time to get him fresh ones. Okay, and he does re refill this um, with our larger containers, but eventually the little container just gets, you know, kind of gross or worn out, and so we needed to get a new one. The Olay Wipes were another Publix deal. This was a freebie. They are like $1.97 or something like that at Publix, but then there was a $2 off one digital coupon that came off, so totally free there. This was from Walmart, this comb set. I really just needed these that have, there we go, it's poking out, that have this tail on the end to the girl's hair, um, but it was cheaper to get this whole little set. Do y'all hear our rooster? That's a whole other story. Anyways, 12 pack of comb for $2.62. A dollar something, a dollar ninety something for this pack of scrunchy hair ties. A dollar for the goody um, bobby pins, 45 count. A thousand of these. Oh my goodness, he was loud today. Um, this was like a dollar ninety something as well from Walmart. Needed that for doing the girls' hair as well. I got these two wax melts um to put in the wax warmers and they were two dollars and some change each i got the calm and the glow i saw something about the glow smelling like baccarat rouge i don't know we're gonna try it out and see what we think washcloths were five dollars and some change for the 18 pack and i like just having the white ones to clean with that way i know what was a cleaning rag what was not and it can be bleached and all of that so i got those 
to replace ours and I'm just going to pitch all the other ones. The shower curtain liner was two dollars and some change needed to replace that. We have really hard water. I have tried the ones that are a little more expensive that you can wash in the washing machine. I just don't find that it does a really good job of getting it clean so I just replace these you know as needed. Okay mesh laundry bag this is a dollar 47 I believe but we use it just like they show it put your delicates in and then I got myself two nightgowns. This one's longer but it is like the sleeveless a spaghetti strap and then just a short sleeve one as well and those are the joy spun brand uh these were a substitution but then we didn't get charged for them and i told them i didn't want them but we still ended up with them so i don't know um i'll donate those as well because no one here will eat them and we have already purchased girl scout cookies but they're like five dollars a box now and i cannot keep buying that and the kids wanted some more of these don't get me wrong, we'll probably make another Girl Scout cookie purchase before the end of cookie season, but um, I thought these would be good to get while I was at Walmart. They used to be really cheap, now they're like $2 a bag, but I did get those. This was from Publix Buy One Get One Free at $5.99, so $5.99 for two two-pound bags, so four pounds of Honeycrisp apples, and I like that these are the little bitty ones, which are perfect for the kids. Go Go Squeeze was also... Buy one get one free at $9.49 at Publix. So I got two apple cinnamon. That's the girls' favorites. The Lance crackers. I was gonna get these at Sam's Club, but it ended up being a better deal to get than buy one get one free at $4.40 each at, at Publix, not Sam's Club. <laughs> so we've never tried this grilled cheese one, but we're gonna try that out. And then I got three of the good old trusty toasty sandwich crackers with peanut butter. And then Walmart, I think these have gone up to 30 cents each now, but I got six of the creamy chicken ramen for my husband. That will last him a really long time, but we don't go to Walmart all that often. And um, they're the only place around us that carries the creamy chicken now. So that's what I got those for. Also Walmart, the Crispix cereal, um, before I knew about some Kellogg's statements that were made, this was already purchased and ordered. So it is what it is, but we really like Crispix. So I'm gonna need Kellogg's to fix themselves because whew, that's a whole nother can of worms we'll talk about later. But um, these are cheapest at Walmart because they very, very rarely go buy one, get one free at our Publix. They never go on sale at Kroger. And no store makes a store brand of Crispix. Yes, they do have checks, but it's not the same. Um, so I got two of those at $4.88 a box. $6.12 a box. I got these Nature Bakery 10 count packages. So there's 10 twin packs. Um, I got the blueberry and the apple cinnamon. Both of those are from Walmart. Um, so that's everything that's on the table right here. Obviously, there's more to come. Um... But we're just getting through it as much as we can. And I apologize if my voice sounds terrible. I have had a cold on top of just getting better a week or two ago from, you know, the awful sickness. And yes, it is just a cold. But it is not fun. And I've been pretty miserable, to be honest. So, um, I was really thankful to have delivery for Walmart or for Kroger and then pick up for BJ's and Walmart and my husband is rock star of the year because on his way home from work yesterday which was Friday the first he stopped and picked up the BJ's order and then he helped me bring in everything that was not cold um because I've already done that from Sam's so shout out to my husband for being awesome he is just you know I want to say he's my partner in crime but he's also like my <laughs> you know just my partner like I don't feel like I ever have to do anything without that man and I love it he is up for any crazy idea that I throw at him and he is also like babe you may have overdone it this time on the grocery shopping but he knows that it'll benefit us too so um it'll be a good thing once we get it all sorted put away meat broken down all those good things so thanks to my husband for being so awesome and helping me do all of this Okay, we work together well. All right, so that's everything here. Let me get this stuff put away and then we'll do the other stuff. 
Okay, so here is the other stuff that is not refrigerated, and you can already see one error error that I made, but we'll we'll talk about that in a second. Okay, so this is a mix of things from Kroger, Sam's Club, BJ's, and I think that's it. Okay, down here, the only thing missing, there is a pack of 24 count of yeast rolls from Sam's, um, and we had already broken into those, so I've just already got those in the kitchen um, in another bag. So those were $3.98. Also, either $4.98 or three, I think it was $4.98. This eight pack of the brioche buns from Sam's, those are great. $3.68 for a two pack of bread. And then a dollar for this loaf of Italian bread from Walmart. And $5.98 for the 24 count of slider buns. Um, all of this will get broken up and put into the freezer because we won't go through all that, obviously, in one meal or before it goes stale. So there's that. Okay. Limes were $5.78. Lemons were $3.92. I think these are both three pound bags from Sam's. Six hint water. The pineapple flavor is my favorite. And Sam's Club does carry a variety pack that has the pineapple now. But now it has a guava flavor that I don't like in it, so they just keep changing it, and it's it's never what I enjoy. Anyways, these are a dollar each at Kroger, so I grabbed six of those. It's just a nice change up when I need something other than just like plain water. Okay, Doritos were four forty eight. I got the Cool Ranch. Yeah, I don't think I got the other ones. I got Cool Ranch, and then I had a coupon from. Oh, I should say I also had. A $10 off $100 purchase and a $10 off $125 purchase. Coupons from BJ's that I used as well. And not pictured here is a 30 pound bag of dog food from BJ's as well. And that was $37.98. Pirate's Booty was $6.49 after a coupon at BJ's. The Eco Spray Laundry Detergent was $16.99 after a digital coupon as well. $9.99 for the three quart container of vegetable oil back there from BJ's. And then this extra virgin olive oil from Sam's. I think this was $19.98. Um, it ended up being $19.99 for this Cascade Platinum Plus 81 count from BJ's after one of their coupons. Um, I got the M&M's Minis and the M&M Peanut Butter M&M's. Both of those are $14.99 each at BJ's. $5.28 for the minced garlic from Sam's. $1.24 after a digital coupon at Kroger for the Kinkleman soy sauce. $4 and some change. I think it was like $4.28 for this two, a little over two pound container of cornstarch from Sam's Club. I use that a lot when we make Asian dishes and in baking and different things, so it's good to have that on hand, and that's a much, I like that container much better than what you get at Kroger and that sort of thing. Okay, the Tone Cilantro Lime Seasoning. Um, if you have not tried this and you like cilantro lime flavor, you need this in your life. We use this on chicken, steak, veggies, all of it. Um, this was, I think, $3.98. The Hidden Valley Ranch Seasoning at Sam's was $8 and some change, so I got that for homemade ranch dressing. I do want to find a recipe for a homemade ranch seasoning that we like. We just haven't found one just yet. $1.24 from Kroger for this 10-ounce bag of shell-on salted roasted peanuts. I got two packages of the La Banderita white corn tortillas. They were $1.24 each. So we'll definitely use those. It was $1.49 for the Mojito Lime Girl Mates marinade seasoning. I don't remember where that came from. I think maybe Walmart? I don't remember. $5 and some change for a 10 pound bag of these giant potatoes from Sam's. And then I also got 10 pounds of potatoes from Kroger for $3.24 because I totally forgot I got these and I shouldn't have gotten the ones at Sam's. It is what it is. Mega event sale at Kroger. Buy five or more participating items. Save a dollar on each item. So the goldfish were participating in that and I got six and they were $1.99 each. It was time to replace some pans. So you can see that is the name of the game around here this time of the year. That's what I use uh, this extra money we set aside for. 
it was ten dollars and some change i think for the half size two pack and then the quarter sheet pans we've never purchased these before but i'm really excited to have them i think these were eight dollars and some change for that two pack so i'll throw out my other half sheet and a quarter sheet that i already had that was like a non-stick that of course is not non-stick and we'll just get back to these okay Sam's Club cantaloupe, two ninety two, a dollar and some change. No, two twenty nine for this three pound bag of heirloom navel oranges from Kroger. What else? Twenty two ninety eight for the forty five roll pack of Members Mark toilet paper. Fifteen dollars and some change at Sam's for the Jack Links nine pack of beef jerky for my husband for snacking, and then the. OxyClean was $12 and some change after a digital coupon at BJ's, and that is an eight pound container. So I'll use that and refill my container that I already have in our laundry area. These hand towels are great. We have other colors of them and they are absolutely massive. Um, I got these at Sam's. They were, this color was on clearance for $2.98 each. I think they're normally like three or $4 and some change, but I did get two of these dark teal at $2.98 or $2.92, something like that. The two blueberry plants. I'm really excited about these. This was, I believe, $16 for the two pack of plants. $10.98 for the four pack of disinfecting wipes from Sam's. Also $10.98 for the 85 count pack of the 10 inch paper plates. $18 and some chain. No. I think it was $16 for these. Maybe $13. Now I need to look that up. I don't remember, but I think it was around 14, 15, somewhere around there. 42 count pack of the Members Mark brand potato chips. It comes with a variety of classic barbecue, sour cream and onion, cheddar and sour cream, and the classic rippled, wavy, whatever they want to call that. And then from BJ's, I got the Snyder's mini pretzel bags. There's 36 bags in there. I paid $9 and some change. That whole box is actually going to my first graders classroom because they need some more classroom snacks. And so I told them I would pick up a box of something and that's what we grabbed it for that. Dental treats were $17.28 at Sam's for the 30 count. Our dog will be very happy because we've been out for about two weeks and haven't been to Sam's to get any more. She has to have chicken free and all this stuff. So if you have dogs with allergies, look at this one because it is pretty good ingredients as far as that goes. Three pounds of bananas from Sam's were $1.76. Five, uh, eight pounds of red potatoes were $4.67 at Sam's. The veggie straws were seven something. The veggie straws, I think were $7 and some change. I got those at BJ's with a digital coupon. We got the La Banerita flour tortillas just for some quick freezer meals. I actually really prefer to make our own homemade tortillas, but these are good in a pinch and the kids like snacking on these. So right now is not homemade bread product season for me. It is just too chaotic. So I did pick these up. I think they were $3.98 or something like that at Sam's. And there's 24 flour tortillas in there. Okay, Harvest Snaps. <clears throat> These were six something, plus I had a coupon for them at BJ's, and these are like baked, yeah, baked green pea snacks. My youngest absolutely loves those. Fritos, Scoops were $4.48. Cheeto Puffs, $4.48. And the Smart Food White Cheddar Popcorn from Sam's was also $6.98 or $7.48, something like that. Oh, Lord, y'all, I got to get this stuff put away. Then we'll get out all the cold stuff that I had shoved in the fridge and freezers. And we'll share with you all of that stuff. All right, here's a look at the table from all the cold stuff. I will say some of the Lunchables are already missing. It also would not fit on the table to bring out three gallons of whole milk. Those were $3.29 each at Kroger. And then I also had a gallon of unsweet and a gallon of Milo's sweet tea with lemonade um, that are not on the table. I bought eight Lunchables at Walmart, but there's only six here because the kids already got into those. And then the buy one, get one free strawberries at Publix, I forgot to put on the table. So 
those are there also. They were $3.99 for two. And yes, you can see the boxes here have been opened because we actually already put all those in the freezer. And then I just kept the boxes so I could show you the products. But, um, so that's why they look a little wonky. Okay, so down here, cilantro was 89 cents. That was from Kroger. These egg wraps were $2.72, I think, from Sam's, or no, from Walmart. About $14 for four pounds of butter, which is insane to me, but we needed butter. We were totally out, so I went on ahead and got that. This was $3 for the triple chocolate chunk cookie dough from Kroger. And then I also, I think this was $3.50. I got the little sugar cookies with the shape, the chick shape in the middle there from Kroger as well. From BJ's, we got some Black Forest ham. Looks like a little over a pound was $8.62. And then I had $3 off of a deli meat purchase. So it was actually $5.62 for that. There's a deal up to five with a digital coupon on the Kroger cheeses, and it made them seventy or dollar seventy nine each. So I got two of the whole milk mozzarella shredded cheese and one Swiss slices, nine seventy two for the seventy two count at Sam's Club of the Kraft Singles. The Daisy sour cream was four seventy two for the two pack of the fourteen ounce squeezable pouches of sour cream at Sam's. The Jimmy Dean fully cooked turkey sausage was $7.49. I had $2.50 off digital coupons at BJ's. So I got two different ones of those with two different digital coupons. $1.82 each. I got eight of the Lunchables at Walmart. $6.49 after the mega event sale at Kroger for the Baby Bell 12 count, which is not a good price. And they were cheaper at Publix, but my Publix was sold out. So I got them at Kroger. Okay, the Danimals pouches. After a mega event and a digital coupon, it made them $3.29 for that package. So I got that four pack there. Oh, the other thing not on the table is that I did get three rotisserie chickens and I have already pulled the meat off of those and broken those down. So those are not here on the table. And then I also got a 12 count of Danimals pouches for $7 and some change or $9. I think it would end up being $9 after a digital coupon at BJ. So those have already been emptied and put into the fridge as well. $4.68 or $4.68 for this quart of heavy whipping cream from Sam's. $1.89 for the flaky buttermilk biscuits. And then these were not on sale, but we need to restock our popsicles for desserts and just little snacks. So I did get the orange vanilla bars, the fudge bars, and then the Mighty Ice Pops. All of those are the Kroger brand. Also at Sam's, I got the Uncrustables 18 count for $13 and some change. After the mega event, these ice cream sandwiches actually ended up being 50 cents because they were on sale for $1.50 and then save a dollar off each item. So that six pack of ice cream sandwiches was 50 cents. Dino Nuggets were $4.99. And then what else? Let's see, I got all of that. Um, these Pine Berries, we never had this. I'm excited to try these. They ended up being buy one, get one free as well. And I think it ended up making them $3 for that little container. And then Driscoll's Blueberries at Publix were also $3.99. So I got that. Honeycrisp Apple Slices, two pounds for $6.99 at Sam's. That'll go in lunches this week. Grapes were $6.59 for three pounds. At Sam's, three English cucumbers was $3.88. I do not know how much this was, but the six pack of romaine hearts was around $5 at Sam's. $19 and some change for four pounds of the hickory smoked bright brand bacon. We do prefer the applewood smoked, but they did not have any. And then the corn was $5.18 for an eight count. I cannot wait for corn to go down as we get closer to summer. Um, $1.49 each for the eggs because they were um, on sale with a digital coupon for $1.49 a dozen, but they had to substitute the 18 counts for me. So that's the same price I got. These already pre-packaged. There's like three packs in each bag. Um, 
of three chicken breasts each at $3.29 a pound at BJ's of the Purdue boneless skinless chicken breast. So I got three three packs, so nine packages. They're all about a pound of chicken in each package. And then I had the $10 off the $100 purchase coupon, so ended up making it comparable. Um, the chicken tenderloins at Sam's Club were $3.48 a pound. They're each over, just over four pounds. And so we'll divide that up and put that into the freezer. And then $9.99 or $9.98 a pound, so $29.34 for a four pack of strip steaks at Sam's. Sorry, it's loud. Then also $28.17 for two pot roast, uh, check roast at Sam's. And then the prime rib beef steak sliders. There's... 18 yeah this is two layers of nine so 18 burger patties for 1360 i thought that'd be good to freeze ready to go to make sliders or we can squish the patties out actually and make smash burgers and then at 498 a pound this has gone up 50 cents a pound but the beef stew meat 21 dollars and 12 cents i would divide that up as well because we are having beef stew one night either this week or next so that is what I got that for okay I think that's everything on the table y'all well that's it y'all it's a lot um but thank you so much for joining me thank you for being here thank you for your patience as I have stepped back from making videos um I filmed that update video like three weeks ago and then life got even crazier so There'll be another update video coming, but I wanted to get this out first um, and get this video that I had filmed weeks ago actually out to y'all. So thank you for your patience. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your, your kind words and encouragement. I always appreciate y'all. Um, and until next time, I will see you in the comments down below. Bye y'all.